Hello, Beata here. Welcome back to Getting to Know Fibers and Fabrics Season 1. Today, we're going to be looking at cotton. Cotton comes from the cotton plant. It is almost 7,000 years old, which means it's one of the oldest fibers or fabrics that we know and that we've been making clothes and other items out of. Growing cotton and getting cotton from the cotton plant all the way through to it being a fabric that we can wear every single day, is, it is quite a process. So let me quickly take you through it. In order to get cotton as a fabric, we first need to grow the cotton plant up to the point where we have a um, organic cotton ball or a normal cotton ball and that then goes through a further process where they clean the cotton, comb it and weave it into a fabric. But if we look at the farming um, of cotton, we actually start out with um, a natural cotton seed which becomes a seedling, leaves, a bud and then a cotton bud. This just takes about 60 to 70 days from planting until the first flower appears. A cotton ball only appears 50 to 70 days after bloom. During this time, soil fertility, water, pests and weeds need to be managed. 45 days after the ball appears, the cotton ball will begin to naturally split open along with the ball's segments. Once the cotton ball is fully dried and fluffed, it is ready for harvesting. The harvesting of the cotton balls can either take place by hand or in modern days, machines are used to strip away the cotton balls from the plants. We then end up with a cotton ball. This needs further processing. These cotton balls are quite dirty, so we have to remove the little sticks, leaves, seeds, and anything else that might get stuck into it. After that is removed, um, we have to further clean it by combing through the cotton. After it's combed through, it gets graded. It then goes through a further process where it actually it's turned into yarn and the yarn then gets woven into the fabric that we know today. Another process that it can go through is dyeing. Cotton is known to absorb dye quite easily so therefore it doesn't have to go through too many processes of actually dyeing the fiber. Cotton fibers are quite versatile. It gets woven into very thin or very thick fabrics and it has different looks and feels to it. All of these different fabrics are made for different purposes. Let's quickly have a look at a few different types of cotton. First of all, we're gonna look at the shirt that I'm wearing today. As you can see, it's, got a, it's quite a thin um, cotton and you can see my skin obviously through these little holes, but even on the sides, you can see my natural skin color almost coming through. So it's not very thickly woven. Also, this top is 100% cotton, which means it's quite airy and light and simple to wear. This top is another great example of a cotton. It is non-stretchy because this is 100% cotton. The way it's being woven means that this one can't stretch. Also, beautiful detailing has been added in, as you can see. A very common use for cotton is, of course, denim. Denim usually gets blended with a different fabric, something that usually gives it a bit of a stretch. But these days you get wonderful options of denim being made out of 100% cotton, which means it is gonna be a little bit firmer, a little bit more stiff, but it's definitely gonna last you a lot longer. This dress is a great example of a cotton that got woven in a quite thick manner. You can see it is not see-through at all. It does have a wee bit of stretch because it's got 3% elastine in it, um, but I must say this dress would have been perfect if it was just 100% cotton as well. I'm actually sorry that they didn't leave out the elastine. Although the elastine does give it a bit of stretch, it's still quite a firm dress. You can see me pulling at it on it quite intensely and it doesn't really give much stretch to it. This top is what we know as a classic cotton t-shirt. Mine's just got a bit of a longer sleeve, but you can see it's got a nice stretch to it. And it is still 100% cotton. Let's look at some of the pros in general of cotton. It's good for all skin types and it's non-irritating. It's very breathable 
um, even without these little holes you will still um, be quite cool throughout the day it is quite soft in texture it is absorbent so if you're feeling quite sweaty or so on it easily absorbs it and keeps it locked into the fibers it is multifunctional in other words it can be used for tops underwear for jeans and so forth maybe even some shoes as well the fiber is machine washable which is great it is easy to care for cotton also blends very well with other fabrics the cons the color can fade over time, especially with the more times you wash it. It can bleed. In other words, the color might seem darker in some areas and lighter in others, especially if it gets washed over a certain amount of time. It can wrinkle, so you do need to iron the items. But a good tip for that is to actually give it a good shake when it comes out of the washing machine, hang it up on a hanger, and it will wrinkle less that way while drying. It can shrink, so you really have to watch it at the um, advised temperature, which is usually 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. And it's got quite a long production cycle. Let's look at the pros for the environmental cost. It is 100% biodegradable when it is 100% cotton blend. When it is mixed with other synthetic fibers, it obviously is not. It absorbs dye very easily, meaning it doesn't have to go through several dyeing processes. And if you're using an env environmentally friendly dye, even the better. Cons. Crops require a lot of water. Treated cotton is often bleached and other toxic chemicals are used. And the majority production uses GMO seeds and other pesticides. Cotton is an amazing fiber to wear all year round. Cotton is a beautiful fabric that should really be looked after and cared for in the long run in your closet. Make sure that you buy good quality cotton and go for organic cotton as far as possible. I hope to see you here back tomorrow. Cheers!